Hey guys, this is Dabeed, and I am back here today with my first review of a new statue in a couple of months. It is a first four figures Ephora Shovel Knight Player 2 statue. Uh, this is my first Ephora that I've gotten in in quite some time. I think the last one was Spike. It might have been Varya Suit Sam. It's hard to say, but that was around August, so it's been close to half a year, so I'm excited to get something new in. Uh, this is the green Player 2 Shovel Knight exclusive statue. Uh, I was not really sure that this is something that was ever going to come out, but on the day that the gold and blue Shovel Knights went up for order, we saw from First Four Figures that they had made up a mock-up like prototype of a green one. Fans in the club voted to have that statue come out. I voted for that statue too because I love color variants, and so I was pretty much obligated to buy this, even though, ironically enough, I've never been able to play this Shovel Knight in the game, Shovel Knight because I've only played by myself, and this is the Player 2 Shovel Knight. But I promised my friend Jeremy Beerson that I would support the Shovel Knight line, and I did vote for this, so I am excited to uh, crack this open. All right, so this particular F4F Shovel Knight has the blue pla packing tape. The uh, blue F4F packing tape is the classic color. It's my favorite. I don't believe I ever did get to see the green, which is a shame, but I do love the blue, so since I haven't had a statue in a while, I'm glad this one comes with the blue F4F tape. Uh, this box has, it has seen some shit. Like, it, if you want to take a look here, like, it's got, like, these giant, like, you know, holes punched into it on the sides. The top's got a huge, uh, gash in it, but F4F packs everything really well, typically, so I'm not too worried about any damage. But if there is any damage, we will see it shortly. So inside of this box, we have another box. And, well, scarily enough, this other box also has a big gash in the top. But, you know, there's foam corners in here. I think this is probably going to be okay. So let me just pull out these foam inserts, keeping everything nice and secure. And uh, it's actually easy to pull out because of this gash in the top of the box. I probably shouldn't be pulling that that way, but you know, it is what it is. And da 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 da. Yeah. All right. So inside of that box, we have this other box. This box, as far as I can tell, only has the gash on the top. It's in good shape. It's product number to be with an exclamation point because I was an F4F admin. Uh, not an admin anymore, so I won't be getting a lot more of these debut numbered statues, so this is pretty precious. Uh, let's see here, I'm just going to cut the tape. This is going to take too long. I'll do a cut away from the video, but I think that I can get this opened up pretty quickly. Da -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da. Alright, so inside of this second box, cardboard piece to keep the graphic art box from being cut up. This does not have a gash in it, so I'm confident the art box is actually going to be okay. And, uh, I can flip this over now, uh, and I can see art box still looks good as new, Shovel Knight exclusive edition. Am I going to pull this out without having any problems? Let's find out. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 Yep, this is coming out nice and smoothly. Sometimes in the past I've had some problems getting them out of their shipping boxes, but this particular one fits perfect. Alright, toss this box aside. I peel back this plastic bag. And here we go, we have got the Shovel Knight Exclusive Edition F4F Statue. Uh, looks like it comes in the same box as the blue version, although this one I guess has this sticker that shows Player 2 Green Shovel Knight with the fish head. Very cool. Uh, we can turn this to the side, and I mean, this is the standard art box. If you have seen the art box from the blue one, this is the same box. Uh, I don't. I don't remember the color variants not getting their own boxes in the past, but I suspect there weren't a ton of these made. But this one is number to beat with an exclamation point. That's pretty cool. And we can 
And then you're turning it here. Ah. Let's open the top. All right, so we go on the side. I've got my F4 at flyer. I have got my blue taped styrofoam QC pass by looks like Xian Mei Dane. And I am just going to pull this out of the box. And uh, look at that, smooth like a dream. I had a real battle to get off my Katamari dip statue about a year ago. And I remember I had to like, cut the art box open for that one out. Well, that didn't sound good, but that's probably fine. And here we go, shovel nut. There's the card right there. And if we come over here to the this side down, we can see the embossed artwork of Green Shovel Knight on there. Here's the this side up. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can't just cut these cards out nice and easily. Because I've seen them now, so there's no reason to keep them attached. Here we go. All right, looks like we only get one card with this. Maybe there was no day one edition because I don't know if there were a lot of these uh, that got produced or maybe I was just late ordering. But here is the green shovel my card. And now we're going to just flip this over. And I'm going to cut around the tape. Ordinarily, I you know cut away from the video when I cut around the tape, but this is all going so quickly and so smoothly that there hasn't really been any reason for me to do that yet, but we are ending this out. Hopefully I didn't destroy this when I made that super loud uh, noise on the table. All right, so I've got this nice and open. I'm pause for a second so I can take a couple of photos of this while it is inside of the uh, star home, and then we'll pick back up. Okay, I took a couple of quick photos of this inside of the box so that I would have a, uh, a record of exactly where everything fits in the box for reboxing it for other people. I don't typically end up having to rebox my stuff, but I know it can be confusing when other people do have to rebox things or if they're moving to know where everything goes. So I got some pictures and those are included in the video. Now let's pull some parts out. Uh, pulling out first, we've got the base. It has got a lovely, lovely plant here on it. Some nice foliage. Uh, I remember the first time I saw this base, it was at New York Comic Con 2017. And I didn't know who Shovel Knight was, but it was one of the first things I saw in the glass showcase at the F4S at Boom. So uh, here's the base. Got some plants on it. And uh, here's the bottom of the base. Shovel Knight Player 2 Exclusive Edition, debut with an exclamation point, number of total pieces, there's 75, holy shit. Okay, well there's only 75 plus whatever number like I have of these uh, Player 2 Shovel Knights out there, so that is pretty cool. This is a really low run production. Uh, we'll pop that down there on the table. And next up we have got the body. Looks like the whole body for Shovel Knight is one big chunk without head, obviously, because he's got a Chinjo head. And I'd seen the pictures of the blue and gold ones, and they were really pretty. And this one's also really pretty. Like, the paint job on this is a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Like, I know I've seen the blue and gold ones, like, in person, the prototypes. But if you look at this, like, there's a really nice gloss on this armor. The, uh, the paint has a nice metallic gold to it. Like, it's glossy metallic. It looks really good. It has a little bit of a sheen, a reflectiveness to it. I like this male, like, that's on his arms and his legs. Like, shovel's got a nice reflectiveness to it. This looks really cool. That's, uh, let's get this set up. Uh, where does this go? This the picture. What if I have this picture here that's going to show me where everything's supposed to go. And it looks like Shovel is going to go, where is this shovel going to go? Let's try and understand this. This. That goes in the dirt. Okay, I understand. So the shovel is going to go into the indentation on the dirt for 
shovel, which would make sense. And there he goes. Just like through, oh, just like a shovel through dirt. He went straight on in. No problems. Feels nice and sturdy. Let's grab his standard head here. This is the player two, green shovel knight head. It's got a big block. And yep, there's a magnet in there, so it looks like it is latched on nice and tightly. So here is green player two shovel knight. He is attached. I put him together in, I don't know, 20 seconds or something, which given how poor I am at these sorts of things and uh, just that movement in general is super fast. This is an easy to assemble statue. It's a good size, nice heft, but there's still a little bit more here because we have this exclusive head of Fishman Shovel Knight. Fishman? Frogman? No, I think it's a fish. It's a fish head. And here is the fishy head. This was only for the exclusive edition, which has an edition size apparently of 75 pieces. I don't know how many regular editions were made that don't have the fish head, but this is the fish head. And it must have some antenna in here. Yeah, there they are. I haven't really noticed them yet, but they're there. So let me pull off his regular head, pop it back there. We're gonna stick fish head back on the shovel knife. And let me pop out these whiskers and things that I should have done during the cut, but I didn't, so. All right, so we've got these, all right, so we've got these itty bitty little whisker pieces. They're wrapped in paper. I don't see any damage or any problems with them. Nothing's broken. Bear with me while I pull these out of the wrapping. And let's see, where is this going to attach? Does that can go back there? Is that what's good? I have a feeling that these will only attach into the correct spots, so I'm not too worried about them in the wrong spots. Is that the right spot? Maybe these won't maybe they'll go into any spot. It's hard to say. All right, this one fits perfectly there, so that is where that one goes. It did not fit in the other spot, so if you were worried about these uh, putting it together wrong, seems unlikely. Is this one going to go in nice and smooth? Yes. Okay, so these all only go into their correct slots, so don't worry too much about them. And these have little magnets on them. I'm not sure if the other ones did have little magnets, but these small ones do. All right, so here we go. Fish head, Shovel Knight player two in his green coloration. If you have played Shovel Knight with two people, you may have seen this green Shovel Knight. I can turn him around. He's actually quite heavy, even though this isn't a huge statue. This was moderately low priced, like $2.99, which is crazy low for a high quality statue these days. Additions, this is very heavy. I'm gonna put this back on. Quality is good, paint looks good, reflective paint looks awesome. I like my uh, authenticity card. I think I heard that they're going to be getting rid of uh, continuing numbers, but that doesn't matter because mine is number to be. Uh, I don't know, looks good. Everything in packaging was great. Some gashes in the outer shipping box were fine, but really good statue here. Glad I got it. You're a good boy player too, Shovel Knight. Um, I'm gonna take this outside. I will take some photos of it. Hopefully I will not fall on the ice and break it or myself. But uh, overall review, Positive, nice piece, really like it. Thanks, Sephora. And uh, I'll add some photos here at the end for uh, the review. Okay.